Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and in this video today, I'm going to talk about our Reckless 80 version 4.0. The Reckless 80 is an awesomely versatile and adaptable system. It fits on pretty much any bike. You can put it on a 150cc dirt bike on up to a 1300cc adventure bike. One of the things that I really love about this bag is that if you have multiple bikes in your garage, like I do, you can swap it around between them quickly and easily. The Reckless 80 replicates the traditional three bag organization system of a touring bike with two side panniers and a center rear duffel. But it doesn't require side pannier racks, which saves weight and saves cost. The key differentiator from my perspective between the 80 liter version and its little brother, the Reckless 40, is that in the 80 liter, you can easily fit a comfortable camping kit. Whereas to camp out of the Reckless 40, you gotta pack super minimal. This is a great system for BDR style trips where you're camping off the bike or for traveling longer distances on a smaller bike which you don't want to weigh down with gear. It's also really awesome for international fly-in trips because you can disassemble the bag into its individual components, stash it in your checked airline luggage, and then reassemble it when you arrive. The centerpiece of the Reckless 80 system is this horseshoe shaped harness. It drapes over the back of the bike it connects at the back and it connects down to the bottom of the legs and then cinches down super tight. In the middle of the harness, there's a hole. That's for rear fueling bikes like the 690 and the 701, but it also makes a great carry handle when you take the harness off the bike. In version 4.0, we made the harness from a patented composite material called Curve. It's lighter, stiffer, stronger, and a lot more heat resistant than the polyethylene construction we used before. It's also incredibly stable under load, even in rough, rocky terrain. When you mount the V4 harness on your bike and cinch it down, it really feels like it's an extension of the bike. Another cool thing about the composite harness is that if you have a crash or you do some kind of damage, it's super easy to field repair and replace individual components. It's also really easy to modify this harness at home if you want to add additional attachment points or maybe customize the leg angle to fit your bike. We made the harness in three separate pieces so you can easily take it apart for travel, and also, so if you damage one piece, you can replace only that and not the entire harness. The Reckless 80 is 100% waterproof. It comes with three main dry bags, two legs at 25 liters each, and then our Stinger 22 duffel as the center main tail bag. All three dry bags are made with welded seam construction from a heavy duty TPU material that's super abrasion resistant. This is the same type of construction we see in dry bags for kayaking and canoeing. So with these, you can literally drop your bike at a river crossing and your stuff's gonna stay dry. The two leg bags have a clear panel on the front, so it's really easy to see what's packed in which bag. Also, the interior is a lighter contrasting color, so it's really easy to find your stuff. When you have an off-road crash, these heavy duty leg holsters protect the inner dry bag. The holsters are made from ballistic nylon, hypalon, and TPU. And then there's a layer of structural foam sandwiched between. They take all the abuse, allowing the inner dry bag to do its job. They also protect against bushes, sticks, and rocks on the side of the trail. In version 4.0 with a composite harness, we wrap the leg holster around the backside of the harness and rivet it to the composite, eliminating any opportunity for potential seam failures. You can crash on this bag again and again and ride through narrow, overgrown trails and never have to worry about compromising the dry bags. The rear duffel that comes with the Reckless 80 kit is our Stinger 22 tail bag. It's got stashable mesh backpack straps inside, which is great if you have a breakdown and you need to hike out or maybe hitch a ride on a buddy's bike. It also works awesome as a standalone tail bag, so when you get to your destination, you can strap the Stinger 22 directly to your bike and go for a day ride. The Stinger 22 connects to the harness with this overlapping beaver tail. The beaver tail is also a great spot for like a rolled up riding jacket or a wet rain fly from your tent or last minute additions like firewood and groceries. It's a great spot to put things that you don't want inside your dry bags next to your clean, dry gear or for anything that just won't fit. The beaver tail strap runs through the webbing handle on the Stinger 22 to keep that bag firmly attached. Then on the inside of the beaver tail, We've got a removable document pocket on one side and two little zippered mesh pockets on the other. The entire beaver tail assembly is removable if you want to run the harness with just the side bags. On the back of the beaver tail, we've got a multi-directional molly panel on top and then a metal D-ring and a gated metal clip. This clip is designed to hold your helmet when you're taxiing around at a border or a gas station. You can also use these two clips to connect a small dry bag or a tool roll 
by running your connection straps between the clips on the beaver tail and your rear luggage plate. The Reckless 80 kit also includes this welded seam tent pole pocket. The tent pole pocket goes around the outside of your OEM tent pole bag because those flimsy bags that come with the tent tend to wear through pretty fast when they're strapped to a motorcycle. Here on the back of the leg, we have these five little mounting holes. That's how you can mount our optional removable auxiliary pockets. The Reckless 80 can fit one four liter auxiliary pocket per side or two total. The auxiliary pockets consist of an outer harness and an inner welded seam dry bag. You can run the harness with the dry bag or you can run it with a water storage bag like the MSR dromedary. And there's a little opening down here at the bottom for the nozzle on the dromedary. It's also a great spot for extra gas. You can fit up to two fuel bottles at one liter each and connect them with the included leash. I generally recommend the auxiliary pockets only for the middleweight adventure bikes and larger. For the smaller dual sports and enduros like the 450s and the 500s, I'd say skip the auxiliary pockets and keep the leg as narrow as possible. Here on the back of the beaver tail and on the front of the legs, we have multi-directional molly panels. With these, you can mount any kind of molly storage pouch or molly compatible sheath, either horizontally or vertically. There's also molly panels on the back of the legs too. You can use those if you don't already have an auxiliary pocket mounted there. The Reckless 80 is totally modular, so you can configure it different ways on different bikes for different styles of trips. In its simplest, most minimal configuration, you can run it without the beaver tail, without the Stinger 22 rear duffel, and no auxiliary pockets. That gives you just the two leg bags at 25 liters each, which is 50 liters of total capacity. That's about right for longer day rides or really any kind of trip where you're not carrying camping gear. Adding in the Stinger 22 and the beaver tail brings the total volume up to 72 liters. This is a great setup for camping off of a smaller dual sport like the KTM 500 or the Honda 450L. Then finally, on the 890s, 1250s and on up, you can add the auxiliary pockets on the back of the leg, bringing the total volume up to 80 liters. Also, all the dry bags on the Reckless 80 are roll tops, so you can always overstuff them a little to add capacity, or you can add molly storage pouches on the various molly panels and pick up another five to 10 liters that way. Because the Stinger 22 also works as a standalone tail bag, with this one kit, you can get everything from 22 liters of capacity up to 80 plus liters of capacity for everything from short day rides to longer travel trips to camping on many different sizes of bikes. We make the Reckless 80 in three separate pieces. Right where the pieces join, you can rotate the legs to create the angle that works best on your bike. You can also drill your own holes if you want a custom fit. To attach the rear of the bag to the bike, you have two options. The first option, and the one we recommend for most bikes and most applications, is to use our optional Noblin mount. Note that the Noblin is not included with the Reckless 80. It's a separate item and a separate purchase. With the Noblin, a small knob mounts on the bike, and then the harness slides on and off of the knob. This keeps the bag perfectly centered and firmly attached to the bike, but also makes it easy to get on and off and easy to swap between bikes. The second option is to use the cam buckle straps that are included with the harness. Just take the strap, loop it through your rack, back through the cam buckle, and cinch it down tight. The great thing about the straps is that you can throw the harness over any bike, even a loaner or a rental, and just go ride. You don't need any additional accessories or mounts. Down here at the bottom of the leg, the bag connects to either the frame of your bike or the passenger foot peg mounts with the included cam buckle straps. In version 4.0, we're using a new low profile cam buckle design that way, if your boot rubs up against the buckle while you're riding, it won't release. When you attach these straps to the bike, try to find a mounting point that's as close to the bottom of the leg as possible and run the straps in a straight line. All the Reckless 80 straps come with these handy little strap keepers. Roll it up and Velcro it down, and that way you won't have straps flapping around in the wind. On the underside of the harness, we have these removable foam pads. These protect your bike from damage and they also put a replaceable wear surface between the bike and your bag. The Reckless 80 kit also includes a heat shield. The heat shield is very important because if any part of the bag or your bike's plastics comes into contact with a hot exhaust, it could damage the bag or the bike. Okay, now here's a couple quick rigging tips. First, don't overload the bag. If you find yourself needing more than 80 liters of space, consider stepping up to a rack mounted system like our Backcountry Pannier kit. Second, Match the amount of gear you bring to the type of bike you're riding and the type of terrain you want to ride in. If you're going to be on a 450 or 500 cc bike in really tough terrain, don't use the entire 80 liters worth of capacity. Third, 
Make sure you have firm mounting and attachment points on the bike. On most bikes, that's gonna mean at least a rear luggage plate. On some of the smaller bikes, like the 450 or 500 cc bikes, you might wanna consider a soft luggage rack system as well. Fourth, rig the bag as far forward on the bike as possible without interfering with your riding position or bumping into your backpack. Always make sure there's support behind the legs so they're not gonna swing into the wheel well on a big hit. Fifth, a common mistake is to take these straps on the leg harness and connect them to each other or to the bike. In fact, those straps connect to the dry bag. They help cinch it down and hold it in place. The Reckless 80 is the most versatile and adaptable system we make. For most riders who want a rackless bag for off-road riding and camping, this is the one. In my opinion, it really shines for off-road BDR style trips of up to a few weeks in length, no matter what kind of bike you're riding. On the larger bikes, run it at its full 80 liter capacity. On the smaller bikes, just downsize your kit and run it lean and minimal. There's enough space for everything you need to camp off a bike, plus your food, water, tools, and a change of clothes. If you have any questions about the Reckless 80, leave a comment below, I'm happy to answer them, or you can always send us a note, moscomoto at moscomoto.com. Thank you so much for watching.